We will now demonstrate how, using the Open Legacy AS400 custom connector, we can quickly build a business flow between an AS400 legacy system and a Dataverse database, retrieve the data associated with a policy number, and store it in a Dataverse table. The flow will include two connectors, an Open Legacy AS400 connector and a Dataverse connector. The Open Legacy IBM i AS400 connector will call a pre-existing AS400 API to a COBOL program. We are in the Open Legacy Hub dashboard and we select Projects. We can see the AS400 project ready for use. It has two methods, Get Policy and List Policy. Let's look at the expected input and output parameters for Get Policy. We see that the input will be a policy number and the output will be a nested structure holding strings with values for policy number, name of the policy holder, their address, phone number, and more. We deploy the project, and the AS400 API is now ready to be used on our cloud. We test the API using Swagger. We can see that the API accepts 99 as a policy number, returning the personal information of that policy holder. Later we will show how the same personal information is now stored in the Dataverse account table. The next step is to use the Power Automate Open Legacy AS400 connector to expose the AS400 API functionality into Power Automate. We move to the Power Automate platform and we create a new flow which, in this case, will be manually triggered. We select our predefined custom connector named Open Legacy AS400 Partner API, and define a connection specific for this demonstration, which will perform a request. Because the connector needs to securely access the project and methods stored in Open Legacy Hub, we must provide the relevant security keys for both hub access and runtime access. When the connection has been established, we can see the list of existing projects and methods available to us in the hub. We select the relevant project, and then one of the methods available in that project. Here we select Get Policy. We see that the window contains all the fields defined in the input structure. We enter the policy number, here 99, into the input policy number field, and then add a new step. In this new step, we will add a new row to the accounts table in Dataverse, and populate it with the data returned by the AS400 API and are now stored in the account structure. We select the fields in the account table that we want to populate and associate them with the account structure fields. We save the flow and can now test it. We will use our AS400 connection and see the success message. We can see the output result already parsed into fields. The result we should see in Dataverse is a new row in the Accounts table for Account 99. We now move to Dataverse and see that the Accounts table was in fact updated with a new row for Account 99, and the fields we previously selected are populated with the correct data. Thank you.